So y'all think you're free, huh? Joining that Jesus Lucifer matrix, right? Y'all are still stuck. still stuck in the matrix because if they do rev 1313 and this whole star wars thing where the empire is showing up and they're fake fucking alien shit y'all and you think by joining the jedi let me tell you something about the jedi order that's still part of the swiss templar order you just don't realize it i mean they think that you're working for you know the good side you're still stuck even if you join the jedi side you should all watch the Clone Wars. There's a scene in there where Ahsoka gets fucked over by Yoda the lizard. And she quits the order for a good reason. And then she shows up later in Rebels. But anyways. Yeah. she even They even tell you in fucking Star Wars. She got fucked over by the fucking... Because someone was framing her. That's how they work. So my recommendation is don't join any quote unquote order. You have to stand in your moment and what you believe in. That is, see, that's the thing that's down here on this planet. Is that that's how Lucifer, when he fell, I told you he did two things: one, his seed, and number two, religion on the planet, and divide and conquer and get everybody to join this side and join that side. Okay. Yeah, you might be a good person. You do good things. That's fine. But I mean, are you really? Are you, are you stuck? See, that's the thing. If they decide to roll out this whole Star Wars agenda, you know, the rebels versus, you know, the dark side, you're still stuck in the Matrix. In my opinion. You're still stuck. Because what's out there, people, is... Last time I checked, space is cold. And that's where the elite want you. They want you out in space. <laughs> and they want you to, you know, sign up and join the virgin x wing blue rocket thing where you go off to fucking mars mars is a meat locker people i saw it when they gave me my nasty implant in my eye and they viciously attacked me with their psychotronic weaponry they showed me shit from mars you don't want to go to mars and that's why they were trying to recruiting children who are smart in math and all this stuff because they, they use you all use people. Lucifer uses people and I know exactly how he operates on this planet. You got all this fucking uh, chemtrail spraying going on and the chemtrails infect your endocrine and your, uh, and your central nervous system. And then that thing in the sky called the sun is really a fake sun and they send directed energy weapons and they go to the satellites, to the Gwen Towers, to your telephone pole, down here, and into your electrical system. That's how they send these directed energy weapons for fucking mind control. That's how they do their MK Ultra shit. That's why I tell you, don't participate in their riots. Don't participate in their bullshit. Because all they want to do is just get you off the scenery. Off, you know, to hurt you. Want The number one thing about these goddamn Satanists is self-sacrifice. They're into that shit, where you self-sacrifice yourself for them. And I say don't participate. That's why I'm telling you, this whole thing about Star Wars, that they want to quote-unquote launch you into, is a fucking rigged game. It's still black and white. It's still the Swiss Templar show. Okay? And this is, this is the wheel. This is the wheel that you're on. You're on this fucking wheel, people. You're in the age of Kali Yuga. Where everybody thinks that they can, you know, violate someone else. I mean, I just saw a story about a 29-year-old <clears throat> teacher out in Phoenix. And she was uh, doing uh, sex things with a 13-year-old boy. And she was showing it in class. I mean, this is how fucked up this place is. And so, you know, my shout out to Sean out in... France, he's doing an excellent job of telling you that the Swiss Templars are nothing but homos. They're pedophilias, they're homos, they're Satanists, they're, they're lower than dirt. You know, and the French king was trying to get rid of these guys. Now, yeah, the French king was in a 
of course, it was still a feudal system, but at least he he saw it coming. He was probably the last one that saw it back in the 13th century. So this shit's been going on for a very long time. And they've infected everything. Everything. The air, the food, your medical, your school system. I mean, let me tell you something about this, people. I can remember back, as, far, as far back as being very, very young, where I've had really strange people in my fucking life. And what they are are handlers. These are Swiss Templars that, you know, they know that your parents are part of it. And they fuck with you as you grow up as a kid. It's a direct violation of who you are because you're an electric being made of light, color, and sound. And these goddamn Swiss Templars know about it. They know your DNA, and once they have your DNA signature, bam, you are locked into their fucking AI system, which happens to be that spider god fucking Lucifer, or Michael. I'm telling you how deep this goes, people. And I'm telling you, you're still stuck on this wheel. If you don't recognize what's on this fucking planet, you know, you got some, you still have a learning curve. The black and white shit is to fuck with you. The Samson and Delilah, the two twin towers, all that is black and white. It's all the double. Double this, double that. Everybody get in line and follow the fucking Swiss. That's what they want. Get in line, right? Well, I tell you, don't get in line. Because you don't know if they're going to jump you. That's why I don't step foot in any churches. I don't step foot in any fucking pyramids. You know, the greatest electromagnetic frequency that's being sent out is from those pyramids. Yeah, the pyramids. That's old ancient technology shit. Give, thrown out there by who? Lucifer. All this shit goes back to fucking Egypt, people. I keep telling you. He started the first civilization. The fucking pyramid crap. And from there, it went out to the priests and the pharaohs, and then you went to your your senate and then they started designing these were fucking uh, democracies in Greece yeah all for one one for all right united we stand no nah, man not all of us are going to be standing with the fucking fags uh, if, look I don't give a shit I was happy if you're if people do what they want to do I don't give a shit as long as it doesn't interfere in my fucking life well, now it's interfered in my fucking life. Because I'm viciously attacked with directed energy weapons and you violate the very thing that I am. My sacred body. Because you all think that it's funny to uh, scope out someone. Gang stalk someone. You think it's all fucking funny and then you have your fucking minions play the double that they are a T.I. Yeah, I know how the game is. It's the double spy shit. I know how this shit rolls out. And I know how Lucifer indoctrinates these children via through the pineal gland. See, the chemtrails attack the central nervous system, and the central nervous system gets violated through the directed energy weapons. Which is that, like I said, sun simulator, there's a path. There's a path. Sun simulator to the satellites, satellites to the Gwen Towers, Gwen Towers over to these fucking things over here, and then to your electrical wires and into your smart meter, and then directly into your bedroom. That's why all these goddamn street lights have um, LED, because LED is some kind of nasty frequency shit that the fucking scientists designed. You remember in the news, all these goddamn reporters were saying, like, switch over to LED, and... Da, 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 da. Yeah, that was all part of the. It's all part of the fucking, you know, zapping of people. All of it, zapping people. And yeah, you do have graves, by the way. They're part of the fallen angel shit too. And part of his crew is also named the Pleiadians. So you gotta watch out for that shit when these fuckers, if they decide to do their fucking. Well, the aliens are here. No, people, the aliens here exist on the planet. It's, you know, his bloodline, like, like you know, uh, the rich elite and all that shit. 
Rothschilds and all them. You wonder why you're getting burned off your land is well, you only got these Luciferian fucks, these Swiss Templar shitheads. You wonder why California is under attack? Well, that shit's all going to China. These Asian markets. You should listen to uh, Catherine Fitz Austin. She says, watch the, the Asian market. Yeah, it's all going to these. They've been indoctrinated too. Everybody's been indoctrinated. You know? See, and this is the thing. Whenever I go out, you know, it's, it's this attitude that these fucking game stalkers have that they're pissed off because I'm able to step outside of the box. Well, yeah, I'm stepping outside of the box because when you unveil, when you open up a box, it's a Swiss Templar cross. You open up a cube, it's a fucking uh, cross. So that's what I mean. You're still stuck in this, you know, loop. I don't know what to tell y'all. You know, all I know is that they were planning on Rev thirteen thirteen. I don't know if the shit. I mean, they're they're already beaming shit, cooking. They're already cooking everything. Trees are fucking dying. Your water is shit. They're fucking putting fake paint on apples now. They're spraying the apples with this fake paint shit. Yeah, I found that out. Because they want their clones, and they want to have their immortality, and they want to live forever, and da-da-da-da-da, you know. Oh, we're the Pleiadians, and we're beautiful angels, and we want to walk this planet forever and ever, and da-da-da, go off to the fucking moon and shit. Did you know the moon was stolen? Yeah, you got two moons. You got one that's artificial, or you got one that was stolen, and then you have this fucking uh, <clears throat> moon simulator thing. Landro Planetarium shit. Yeah, and then your sun simulator, and then you got your mini suns, the mini sun simulators coming off of your street lights. So it's all been weaponized, people. So that's why you gotta be a good little girl, get a little boy, have pleasant thoughts, and then everything's hunky dory, you all sing kumbaya, right? In the meantime, they're violating your children's rights while you sleep at night with their pineal gland bullshit. Yeah, I know how they fucking use the weapon. I know how they do it. They they send a certain frequency to the pineal gland and then you go into these cloning centers and you all have a fucking party down there and you plan your, your events. As above, so too below. And then you put your shit down there. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a fucking da 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 on the surface of the planet and we're gonna fuck up everybody's day. And then we're gonna enact new laws we're gonna we're gonna start doing new laws because this happened. Yeah, it's all part of the false, fake attacks. That's why I was talking about these suicides last night. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know shit. That's right. You don't know shit. You think these suicides are real? I don't know. I would put a big fucking question mark by it. Really? Where's the evidence? Cloning centers, fucking dead fake blood, bullshit. All that to fucking make you walk a certain way and get these laws pushed. Like this uh, Smollett thing, he, he, right behind it, I bet you anything there was this uh, anti-lynching law or some lynching law thing behind closed doors. Look it up, man. There was a lynching law fucking shit trying to be pushed. Something about lynching laws. There's always a fucking story behind all that shit. You're all too stupid to figure it out. Behind closed doors, the DNC and all them motherfuckers are planning this law and that law. They want to get the guns. Well, you know what? They're hypocrites because they have lasers. If they have lasers up there, they got laser guns. Wake up. 